Hey Empress, what's up? What's going on? How y'all doing? I hope all is well on your side of the screen. If you're not one of my Empress, definitely make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? And don't just hit the subscribe button, make sure you turn on the post notification. Like that is a big thing. Set it to all so you get my videos that comes up every Friday at 8 p.m., okay? You do not want to miss. I may, like I said in a previous video, I may be adding more like at least one more day because I have so many videos that are coming up and it will like drag forever and some of them I'm so excited about that I gotta get them out. If not, then I'll probably have maybe one video come out at eight, another one come out a little after eight. So it might be two coming out on Fridays instead of one. Either way, you will know what's going on if you make sure you turn on that post notification bell, okay? <laughs> All right, so today we're gonna be doing uh i haven't done one of these in a little bit i think the only other main concept wig that i did last year that i could remember off the top of the dome is that um bahama mama twist that one um and that was one of my favorite wigs <laughs> of 2020 to be honest and if you're wondering about this wig it's on some more love tv okay uh so this one is called Aaliyah. it's red carpet and that's main concept it has HD indivisible, <laughs> indivisible, <laughs> indivisible, <laughs> invisible lace. Um, and it says it has baby hairs as well. Um, so yeah, it reminds me of something I've definitely had before. The curls are like really tight, which I like. It's like spiral types of curls. Kind of reminds me of my hair because my hair has spiral curls, but my hair is just like really small spiral curls. Um, and the color that I got was smburg slash 99j okay so it got a little bit of darkness down here that's like i guess the 99j and then up here is like the burgundy i kind of do wish it was reversed just because it's always cooler when the roots are dark you know it always looks a little more realistic and um but i'm not going to be super picky i am going to Put a little powder up in this part because I can see that it's going to be light, you know. I can just kind of see that happening. Y'all, I do know that my hair up under here is not looking too cute. And I know <laughs> that my braid, I mean, yeah, I have some like old doodle braids up under here. And I know my cap is kind of far back, so don't laugh at me, y'all. I might just edit that part out. We'll see, <laughs> depending on how bad it looks. But here we go. Please. I ain't got no shame in my game <laughs> at the end of the day. <laughs> nah, I really, I really don't. I do some crazy stuff. I really do. It'd be like, whatever. Uh, so yeah, there we go. That's how that looks. And we just going to take this off. Oh, let me cut off this little taggy thing so I don't be walking around looking cray cray. <laughs> isn't that clever i think i noticed this before but i didn't really mention it because like one of those things you just kind of notice in passing is that it has like the red string red carpet <laughs> i see what you did there <laughs> main concept i see what y'all did all right so now we are going to boom 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 just put it on Definitely big head friendly because it feels super loose right now. It does have like a little bit of a lump hump bump here. I'm going to have to put a little something right there. I just don't like the shape right there. But let me just, let me just shake it out a little something. It's like something about right here just feels a little funky. Like you could definitely put a hot comb right here a hot iron comb or a curling iron right here just press it down a little bit because i personally don't like the little cone head look like that always gets to me so i would probably do that for that damn don't you hate when you have a white this is why i don't really like i, I used to love wearing white shirts all the time but once they started getting dirty with my makeup, I, I was kind of over them a little bit. Can't even lie. This is like a fun wig though. Like, 
I'm just really loving how playful these curls feel. And you can make it like shake it out and just kind of make it as big as you like it. And y'all know burgundy is like my signature color. Like this is so me with these kind of curls. It's like, well, some of y'all might not know since this is a new channel, but people that had me from the old channel, y'all know. I had to remember that. Sometimes I forget which channel I'm talking on, to be honest, because <laughs> sometimes y'all know I still do some hair videos on the other one, and then I have this one, so it's like, yeah. All right, just to kind of make me happy, I'm going to put a little bit of heat right here and then we'll return and see the final results. All right guys, so I did go ahead and I put the little curling iron right there cause it was like, I don't know, it's like a section. It just feels like puffed up a little bit. So I just put it there real quick, held it, took it off, held it, took it off cause it was kind of hot. So I didn't want to burn the hair or anything like that. Um, cause I don't know if it's even heat proof or whatever. Yeah. It doesn't say anything about heat and obviously this is curly already. So most people wouldn't want to put any heat to it. So I didn't want to destroy it. <laughs> so I just, as you see, I just kind of fluffed it out a little bit. I'm not going to fluff it out too much because I'm probably not going to keep this wig. I have so many wigs like this. So definitely check out some more love.com for the wigs that I review on this channel as well as my other channel, some more love TV, because you know, I'll be having some good prices. There's always less than what you would get it for at the regular online beauty supply store. Uh, so yeah, this is how the parting looks because I did go ahead once again when I was off camera, I did go ahead and just use a smaller brush and go right in the middle where the parting space is. I do, I, the only thing I would say that would make it a little more realistic, like I said earlier, was if it had darker roots, but this is still cute. This is a fun, flirty wig. I could see myself going out, you know, like just real chill vibes, just like how I'm dressed, like just with a nice little cardigan some jeans. I mean, you could definitely do it any way you want. Like you can even make it look real cute. I feel like in black, it would definitely look a lot more classy and it would be a lot more easy to pull off and look more believable, you know? But with this color, I just feel like, like real chill vibes, like just laid back. We going out to play pool. We going to the movies, but I don't want to dress up this time. You know, like one of those types of vibes. Cause I, I dress up at the movies sometimes. It just depends on the vibe, the mood, how I'm feeling that day. So yeah, that's just, that's pretty much it, you guys. Let me show y'all the back. So see how it has like, you know, a nice little graduation type of thing going on there. Um, so I, you could always, if you want to like kind of frame your face a little bit more, you can always do that. If I was keeping this wig, I might just go ahead just so it doesn't keep on touching my lashes because it's kind of uncomfortable a little bit. But I mean, other than that, with some nice hoop earrings or earrings like how I have, it just looks real fun, you know? So on a scale from one to 10, I would probably give this one an eight because it's big head friendly, it's cute, it's fun, it's easy, fairly easy to do. I didn't have to do much. You can always adhere it if you really want to, but for this one, because it's down, I don't feel the need to. Maybe just use the combs or some bobby pins if you don't want to use the combs to, or use your um, wig grip band. I also have those. I just didn't use one at the moment. But all those things would definitely help to keep the wig on. All right. Any questions, leave them down below. I'll put a link to where you'd be able to find this wig in the description area as well as links to my website and my my two websites actually the one where i uh, sell wigs and the one where i sell my hair clips which is empresslooks.com thanks so much for watching be sure to rule your style and unleash your inner empress i will see you in the next one <laughs> later <laughs>